is Hannah from MakeHerStuff.com. And today I'm going to show you how to make a padded leather halter for classic Boya horses. For this project you'll need leather lace and a leather scrap, two halter squares for jump rings and one buckle, scissors, a file, a craft knife, needle nose pliers, and tacky glue. I got the halter squares and buckle from Riolando.com. They come on a big sheet like model car parts. After you clip a part off the sheet, the edges will have rough spots. Use a file to smooth the edges. Open one jump ring and put it through the other. Then cut and scive a piece of lace one and a half inches long for the nose band. Skiving is making the leather thinner by shaving off the backside with a craft knife. I thin the leather lace because it is too thick for making model horse tack. Cut out a piece of scrap leather 3 8 inches wide by 7 8 inches long. Fold the long edges under so the piece is 3 16 inches wide and glue them. This is what it looks like from the back after it's glued. Take the lace you cut and glue it to the leather. Put the end of the lace through the top slot on the halter square. Fold the lace over so the halter square is against the leather and glue. Cut and scive a piece of lace one inch long. Put the ends through the bottom slot on the halter square and glue them. Before the glue dries, make sure the nose band fits around the horse's nose just below the point of the cheekbone. Open one of the connected jump rings and put it on the piece of lace that isn't padded. Cut and scive a piece of lace one inch long. Put one end through the ring hanging from the underside of the nose band. Glue it down. Cut and scive two pieces of lace one and five eighths inches long. These will be cheek pieces. Cut out two pieces of leather three eighths inches wide by three fourths inches long. Fold the long edges over and glue, just like you did with the nose band. When the glue is dry, glue one piece of leather to the back of each lace cheek piece. Put one end of the lace through the last slot on the halter square and glue. Try it on your horse to make sure it still fits. Put the ends of each cheek piece through a jump ring. Fold the ends over and glue. For the throat latch, cut and scive a piece of lace two and three eighths inches long. Put one end through each jump ring and glue. Take the piece of lace hanging from the connected jump ring. Fold the end around the throat latch and glue. Cut a piece of lace three fourths inches long. Skive it, but make sure one end is very thin. Fold the thin end around the center bar on the buckle and glue it. Fold the other end of the lace attached to the buckle around the left jump ring and glue. Prepare a piece of lace two and one fourth inches long. Skive one end very thin. Put the thicker end through the jump ring on the right and glue it. This is the crown piece. Cut the thin end of the crown piece to a point. Cut out a piece of leather 3 8 inches wide by 1 inch long. Fold the long edges over and glue. Glue the leather to the back of the crown piece. Put the halter on the horse and put the end of the crown piece through the buckle. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I have lots more how to make her stuff videos planned. Click here to see how to make the matching padded leather lead. <laughs>